But first at six, two of the big three cell phone companies are now using 911 technology invented years ago following a series of 11 Alive investigations. Today, AT&T announced it is connecting emergency calls to the correct 911 center based on the phone's actual location, avoiding transfers and delays that have cost lives. 11 Alive Chief Investigator Brendan Key first uncovered this problem more than seven years ago, and he is here now with the results that will make you safer, Brendan. Shiba and Jeff, it seems obvious, right? Get the 911 calls to the correct dispatch center when lives are on the line. But that's not how 911 has worked with cell phones for decades now. Emergency calls have always been routed by the cell tower address, not the wireless phone's location. And when seconds count and lives are on the line, this is important, it's a big deal. Our investigation is finally changing all of this. Chanel Anderson died after driving into a Cherokee County pond in December of 2014. Chanel knew exactly where she was and called 911 while she was trapped in her sinking car. The problem is her call hit a tower in Fulton County and was picked up by the wrong 911 center in Alpharetta instead of Cherokee. By the time rescuers finally found her 22 minutes later, Chanel was gone. Our investigative series, 911 Lost on the Line, started immediately trying to uncover why 911 couldn't find Chanel in time to save her life. We discovered it was a nationwide problem with the way 911 calls were routed and how cell phones were located during an emergency. That included this deadly jet crash in Atlanta, where calls went to Cobb and Fulton instead of to Atlanta 911, and the Parkland school shooting in Florida, where calls for help from inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School went to a 911 center in the next city. We've stayed on this story for years. Inventors who followed our investigation came up with a solution. Laser 911, it first quickly finds the phone, then sends the call to the right 911 center with the phone's precise location. AT&T announced today it is using that patented technology invented because of our investigation. AT&T launched the technology just last week in 16 states in the western U.S. and the company will roll it out across the nation, including Georgia, by the end of next month. 911 centers don't need to do anything because the AT&T technology doesn't require any upgrades to the dispatch system itself. T-Mobile already using it since 2020. That means only Verizon is the only major car carrier in the United States still using it the old way. Verizon told us the company does not have plans to change to location-based routing, also known as locate before route, without acknowledging that 911 calls are routinely misrouted every day using the old system.